David Brewster here with an episode of Brewster's Millions of Brands, and this is the Billy Gibbons Slide Guitar Secrets episode. And it was earlier this year when I put together the Slide Guitar Primer, I think that was back in January, and I had requests, you know, for more slide guitar uh, lessons. And also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm rapidly approaching 100,000 subscribers here on my channel, which that's a huge, you know, goal that I've basically set for my channel here. We're almost there. We've got a hundred and something to go. And I thought, what better way to celebrate than to hit another Billy Gibbons related lesson. And I don't know if you've noticed, but three of the top 10 videos on my channel are related to Billy and ZZ Top. There's the ZZ Top chord play, which is the number one video on my channel. Also the Billy Gibbons soloing secrets and a three for all for Billy. There's also the Texas size turnarounds episode and other, you know, Billy uh, Gibbons related lessons. But this episode is going to basically approach or attack his slide plane. And unlike the primer, which was pretty much all in standard tuning, we're going to get into some open tunings here and some essential licks and exercises. So if you want to dive deeper into slide or maybe you're kind of getting, you know, your footing and kind of getting used to playing this way, this episode's totally for you. Since we're basically investigating Billy Gibbons' slide guitar secrets, it should be, you know, known that Billy Gibbons uses his middle finger when he plays slide. And I made an image here kind of showing his hand, you know, with the slide on it so you could see. So he likes using his middle finger. I admitted this in the slide guitar primer episode. I prefer my third finger. It seems to kind of give me a little bit more control. I can use my index and middle, you know, behind the slide to kind of dampen and mute strings. And I'm also a finger picker when I play slide. I like to use my, you know, fingers instead of using the pick. I believe, you know, Billy uses like hybrid picking, pick and fingers. So that's totally up to you. You can use your pick, you can use a hybrid picking technique or finger style technique like me. But here's an image showing, you know, Billy's hand playing slide. And Billy actually has three different slides with Dunlop. Uh, I was aware of the ceramic slide, which I'd like to get one of those just because it looks cool and I like the graphic, you know, and all that. But he actually has two others. He has like a bottleneck and then kind of more of a traditional glass slide. I think they're called Sangria or something like that. They look kind of like Sangria. But here's an image showing Billy's signature slides. So the music and examples in this episode came from two different ZZ Top albums where we're looking at some of Billy's, you know, slide guitar licks. And then I'm also going to supply you with exercises based on those licks that are really going to help you kind of hone in and improve your slide guitar technique and ability. It's going to help you with sliding and muting and dampening strings and kind of shifting and gliding around the neck. And they're definitely very useful to the licks and then also the exercises. And the albums, uh, it's going to be Rio Grande Mud and Trey Hombres. And... Definitely Billy's done lots of slide work over the years on various albums, and some of his non-slide licks are actually still kind of performed and fretted, almost like he's using a slide, but he uses his fingers. So definitely he's a very interesting guitarist to notice, that even when he's not playing slide, he almost still is with some of those double stops and some of the kind of sliding, you know, moves when he just uses his fingers without the slide. Then he puts the slide on and starts playing some of those licks with the slide, and they sound slightly different. So definitely, he's a great guitarist to notice, you know, for slide guitar techniques and ideas. So with the opening, that's Precious and Grace from Trey Hombres, and we're in open E minor tuning, which is kind of unusual, and we're going to talk about that first. So basically, think of standard tuning, and then think of an open position E minor chord, right? So, you know, all the strings in standard tuning, you know, E, A, D, G, B, E, and we're going to basically tune the A and the D, to where it sounds like an E minor chord when you play the open string. So that open A is going to go up to a B, and then the open D is going to go up to an E, and everything else is the same. So E, B, E, G, B, E, like that. So think of that open position E minor chord, but that's what it sounds like when I play the open strings open like that. Right? Open E minor. As far as the backing, I was using the MXR Clone Looper, and it was basically just moving between C to B flat eventually, and then back to C, right? So that's really all the Looper was doing. And then you hear this really distinct melody, and I've always liked this part of the song. It's kind of dark and, and kind of edgy, but he's basically doing. Part, 
right there. We're basically sliding in like that. And keep in mind, we've got that open E minor tuning. You're basically kind of you know um, sliding into that eighth fret on the D and the G, but start on the D and then end on the G. And then you're doing this little half step motion backward and then go back to that eighth fret and then hit that eighth fret on the G. That's that first little melody there. And like the next time it's a little different. And then he hits there on the B string. And then right there. So right there he's basically doing that same lick and then he climbs all the way up to the high E. And the tricky part here is muting because you don't want those strings. That. You want to separate those notes. And that's honestly why I like using my fingers instead of a pick when I play slide, because that's really hard to do with a pick, in my opinion. Uh, hybrid picking would work a little bit better, but you have to silence the strings. I think that's, like I said, like why I like using my fingers. And right there. My thumb's actually coming in to mute those strings after I play them. You can kind of see it hopping over. And then right there when you get to the high E, then you're going to slide from the 10th, kind of smear it into the 11th. And then... Right, so that... Uh, right there, that 8th to 7th to 8th. And that was the 8th to 7th on the high E, 8th on the B to 8th on the high E again. And then... And that's an interesting lick because you're going from 8 to 7 on the B and then 7 to 8 on the G. And then end on the 8th on the D right there. So right here, kind of that first pass. change from C to B flat. Right. right there, go from the 8th fret to the 7th on the G, and then you're doing this melody. So that's the 7th fret down to the 5th, and then you're catching the 6th fret on the D before you go back to that 7th fret on the G. Like that. So that's tricky, because you're changing strings. It's not all on the G. You're picking up that note on the D right there, in between uh, the 5th and 7th. And then you hear it go back to C, and it kind of sneaks into that 8th fret again. Start at the same, and then you're going to end on the B string this next time. And then uh, and you kind of end with that same lick, that 8 to 7, and then 7 to 8. 8 to 7 on the B, 7 to 8 on the G, and end on the D. So one more time with the rhythm guitar loop behind me, like this. Next up, we're going to basically be stepping into Rio Grande Mud Territory, which is a great ZZ Top album, but that's also a great slide album from ZZ Top. There's tons of slide work all over that one. And now we're going to basically move away from open E minor and step into open E, which is very, very common. Um, and it's the same process. You know, earlier when we had the open E minor, I said tune your strings to where it sounds like an open position E minor chord. This is the same idea, but now it's E major. So everything's the same. But your G string is going to go up to a G sharp, right? So E, B, E, G sharp, B, E, like that. And just think of that good old cowboy, you know, open position E major chord, and that's what we're tuned to. So open E. And then the lick we're going to investigate here came from Whiskey and Mama, which is from Rio Grande Mud. And it's a very simple kind of standard slide guitar lick. 
but it's great for you know muting and dampening you know practice this kind of quick you know shifting and sliding with the slide and then I kind of added this kind of traditional ending like this <laughs> there you can see we're sliding this 15 to 14 on the B and then you're gonna basically move back into that 15 on the G and when you catch that 15 on the G you want to do it again so it's a three note phrase or fast as you want but the important thing is you don't want it to sound like this right? you don't want to hear both of those strings ringing into the, each other you want to separate those notes right? and that's where some of that dampening and muting comes in you know from using my fret hand fingers you could also do that with a pick you could almost do like a rest stroke and kind of dampen or mute strings using a pick or hybrid picking but that's the lick right there and then just end with that 14 to 15 on the g and then end on 15 on the d all right, next up is a sliding exercise that actually came from that Whiskey and Mama lick. And what we're going to do is take that lick, but we're going to move it down and play it on every set of strings. So start up on the high E and the B, and instead of doing this, do it up there. Right? 15 to 14, grab that 15 on the B and then end on the high E. And then do the B and the uh, G string and then the G and the D, and then the D and the A, and then the E and a low E, or the A and a low E. slide lick you should do that you should try it you know in other string groups you can try it in other positions and stuff but learn a lick and then see if you can turn it into 10 ideas or a hundred you know just play with it next up's a pair of licks from just got paid from rio grande mud definitely a classic song that's a great slide guitar workout song too and both of these they have that kind of sour you know bluesy slide sound like this one more time and you can see right there we're kind of playing with this 10 and 12th fret, you know, right there. But what we're doing is sliding that 10th fret down, uh, or I'm sorry, the 12th fret down to the 10th. Go back up and catch that uh, 12th fret on the, the uh, D string. And after you catch that 12th fret on the D, you're going to go back to that 10th fret on the G and then lazily slide back into the 12th on the G, like that. It's kind of an interesting sound, like it has a, it has a sour, you know, flavor. It's an interesting phrase. And you can kind of milk that last note, and you can kind of stretch that out as long as you want. And then the other lick, which is also from Just Got Paid, it's the same idea, but now on the B and the G string. Like that. And you can decide how you want to end it. You know, you can end it quickly. Or you can drag that ending out like that. So those two licks. So if we basically do the same thing we did with that Whiskey and Mama lick, if we take the Just Got Paid ideas and then move that along every string group, we can really get a feel for what that feels like on every string, like this. E and the B and then the B and the G like we already did the G and the D and then the D and the A and then finally the A and the low E Up next
next is yet another slide guitar exercise, and this is a great one. Not only for tightening up your muting and dampening, but also extended, you know, movement. And, you know, so far we basically had this one fret shift and then a two fret shift, you know, like that lick from uh, Just Got Paid. And this goes beyond that. We're going to have a two fret shift and then another two fret shift or slide like this. One more time. So right there you can see we're on the G sliding 10 to 12. Pick up that 12 on the B. Pick up 12 on the high E and then slide that up to 14 and back. Like that. And then end with that 12 to 12 on the uh, B to the G. And the important thing here is muting because you don't want this. To ring like that, you want it to be, you know, separate notes, and that's all happening with my, you know, pick hand here, where I'm finger picking over there and dampening at the same time. That's tricky. Definitely a great exercise to help you be able to do that. Now do it on the next set of strings. Start on the D string and do the exact same thing, but on the D, G, and B. Herbie kind of threw that up right there. But you want those notes separate like that. Now on the next group, after that uh, G, uh, D, G, and B, now start on the A, go to the D, and you're only going to slide a half step right there on the G, that 12 to 13. Like that. And then that last one is on the low E, A, and D. Like that. So all the way through it slowly. great exercise. Last but not least is Apologies to Pearly from Rio Grande Mud. Definitely a slide guitar showcase. It's an instrumental. The first half features slide, the second half with no slide, and Billy's just jamming the whole time. Uh, something like this. <laughs> happening a uh, pinch harmonic with the slide which I kind of did it that's really hard to do but we're in open E and it starts right here and you're just kind of doing that slide from 10 to 12 and then basically kind of moving back and forth between the 12th fret on the high E and the B with vibrato right there and that same move right there the 11 to 12 on the G and then end on 12 on the D rhythm guitar and I usually just kind of add that in to kind of help you know give that rhythm or the tempo right there the second time it's the same lick then you hear him slide that 12th fret off on the D G and B and then you hear him move into the fifth fret right here Right there, I did it right, finally. Uh, the fifth fret, and he's kind of playing between the notes, and then he basically does a pinch harmonic on the B string on the fifth fret and slides the slide off, which is so cool. It's so hard to get, and I just uh, screwed that up. And I'm also using my fingernail and not a pick. I think Billy's using a pick. That would be way easier with a pick. There we go. Uh, it's got that squealing kind of sound, and after the harmonic, then you're back into this, and then you hear this little... And that little turnaround so cool too, but you had the, uh, let's see, what did we have there? You had this little... And then... Uh, 
D, G, and B, the fifth fret. Right, the third fret on the A, D, and G. Open strings. And then you definitely hear this kind of, uh, you know, very standard turnaround. Right, the twelfth on the G and the B, eleventh, the tenth, and then you're going to fret right there. you know, with my fingers and not the slide. You just basically end low E open and then slide in that 10th fret on the D, G, B, and high E. Classic song, but check out Apologies to Pearly. That's a great one. All right, that's going to wrap this episode of Brewster's Millions of Rants with the Billy Gibbons Slide Guitar Secrets episode. And I want to thank everybody for the continued, you know, likes and support. Obviously, the views, the Patreon supporters. Definitely thank you, Patreon. Um, and, you know, we're approaching 100,000 subscribers, and I'm so excited. You know, the holidays are rapidly approaching. It's like we're going to hit it maybe before Thanksgiving. And uh, I was just kind of hopeful, like, before Christmas. But uh, the fact we're almost hitting it before Thanksgiving is awesome. And I thought, what better way than to hit another Billy Gibbons lesson, which as soon as I started making, you know, ZZ Top and Billy Gibbons related uh, lessons, I knew they were going to get views and attention, but I had no idea they were going to erupt and be the, some of the most popular, you know, videos on my channel. I knew Van Halen and, you know, Zeppelin and some stuff like that, but it was a big shock and it made me really happy because I love Billy. You know, Billy Gibbons is a legend and there's just something about the way he plays. It's so signature. You know it's him. As soon as you hear the song start, it's like, that's Billy Gibbons. And uh, there's just something about that. You know, it's like musical fingerprints, you know, and you can hear Hendrix and Van Halen or Clapton or Jeff Beck. And of course, you know, Billy Gibbons, when he steps up and just knocks the solo out of the park, you know, it's like, wow. And most of his ideas are pretty simple, but it's the authority and conviction and that feel, of course, his tone and everything. And he just knocks those out of the park every single time. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to my lessons, and I'll be back before you know it with more content and material. Thank you.